Hello everyone! In this week's video, I'm creating a new original character inspired by your choices. A while back I did a video where my Instagram followers helped me design an original character by voting between different choices like are they a boy or a girl, do they have long hair or short hair, and so on. We ended up with Raylan, who I love very much. I love drawing her and her design. So I thought it'd be fun to do this again, but instead of just my Instagram followers voting, I posted a poll on Straw Poll so that all of you could vote. I announced it in last week's video and also on my different social medias. So let's see what you all voted for. So this character is a girl. She is introverted, optimistic, and outdoorsy. She is dressed for cool weather, wears glasses. Her outfits are chic, colorful, and she accessorizes. She has long hair that is an unnatural color. Oh, also she is human. I was actually really surprised that human won. I often see not human win, and that's how we ended up with Raylan. <laughs> also, thank you all so much to everyone that voted. I wouldn't have been able to make this video if no one voted. <laughs> uh, so I've just been doing some quick sketches to help me get an idea of what I want this character to be like and also just get a feel for them. Uh, for some reason, I wanted this character to be college age. A lot of my characters are in their mid-teens, so I thought an older teen character might be kind of fun. I also really wanted to give her freckles for some reason. Maybe it's because she's supposed to be outdoorsy and for some reason I associate outdoorsy with freckles even though they don't really have any relation to each other. I also wanted to give her really long braids since she has long hair. I imagine she wears her hair in many different styles but for her fall look I thought I would have her hair in braids. So I thought it was interesting that we ended up with her being outdoorsy, but she wears chic clothing. When I googled the definition of chic, I got elegantly and stylishly fashionable. I am not fashionable like at all, <laughs> and I don't keep up with trends very much. Uh, so I started searching what is fashionable for fall 2020. So according to the internet, these are some of the things that are fashionable. Doll dresses, the color marigold, drawstrings, dresses with pants, ruffles, the color rust, colorful leather, patchwork coats, puff sleeves, puffer skirts, uh, the color chartreuse, multi-tone pants. There were other things, but I'm only listing the ones that kind of interest me and that I thought I would use. Can I just say I don't understand fashion? <laughs> Some of the trends are kind of interesting to say the least. So after drawing my base, I start trying out different ideas. While I was doing this, I was trying to channel my inner Animal Crossing. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, I can make cute outfits in Animal Crossing and I think they look pretty stylish. But when it comes to real life, I feel like I never know what I'm doing or like what I want to dress myself in. Uh, so I was trying to channel my inner Animal Crossing. <laughs> so for this first outfit, I gave her a cropped patchwork jacket. It seems like cropped jackets are in right now. I also gave her a ruffled, dropped waisted baby doll dress along with some leggings and boots. I don't know, this was okay but I didn't totally love it and it didn't totally have the feeling I wanted, uh, so I kept trying. <laughs> it took a few tries, but eventually I did come up with her outfit design and I'll talk about it in a little bit when I'm sketching her outfit. Now that I have an idea of what I want this character to look and dress like, I'm going to draw an illustration of her. I wanted her to be doing some kind of pose or motion that expressed her personality a little bit. Since she is outdoorsy, I thought maybe I would have her going for a walk outside, but I didn't want to just draw her walking. I wanted her to be doing something a little bit more interesting. I then got an idea to make her walk on rocks that are going across water. So like she's hopping on the little rocks. I wanted to maybe have it look like she's a little off balance or it's kind of tricky to go across the rocks. I liked this idea, so I decided to go with it. So I'm starting with my rough sketch right now. I'm just trying to get the idea in place and feel out where I want things. I'm not trying to be super precise or neat. I'm just trying to get the idea in place. I wanted her clothing and hair to have a lot of movement to them. So I try to emphasize this in the sketch. 
So after getting my ideas in place, I start refining the details more. Now I'm starting to think more about proportions and making things look right. For her face, I wanted her to have a sort of surprised expression or kind of like a whoa. <laughs> I also decided to give her tons of eyelashes because in my head she's wearing eye makeup like mascara so I really wanted to emphasize the eyelashes. I also sketch in her freckles. I think she likes her freckles. She doesn't try to cover them with makeup. Maybe she even makes some of them darker with makeup sometimes. For her pose I wanted to have quite a bit of movement to it but maybe still feel a little bit awkward. Like she is outdoorsy, but not super coordinated. <laughs> Maybe she's just a tad bit clumsy sometimes. One time my church youth group and I were cleaning up trash around the town and the parks. I was crossing a little water pond by stepping on rocks because that's how everyone else was crossing. Well, I totally slipped. <laughs> Thankfully, only one of my feet went into the water, but I had to walk around with a wet shoe for the rest of the day and that wasn't really fun. It made my foot hurt for some reason. <laughs> Speaking of shoes, I really struggled with her shoes for some reason. The foot on the rock didn't trouble me too much, but the one that's lifting up was giving me issues. The first time I drew it, it just kind of looked weird, and the second time was okay, but the sketch was kind of messy, which made me struggle with it when I was doing the line art. <laughs> for some reason, I always have a hard time drawing boot-like shapes. Like, I'm more comfortable drawing like sneaker or tennis shoe kind of shapes, but then for boots, I always find them tricky for some reason. So about her outfit, she is wearing knee-high boots with a drawstring detail because drawstrings are trendy right now, I guess. Instead of giving her a cropped patchwork jacket, I'm giving her a really long one. I actually think the patchwork jackets are pretty cute. I kind of want one. I haven't seen one in real life, but maybe if I see one, I'll get it. <laughs> I don't add a crazy amount of patches, just a few placed randomly around the jacket. I also decided to give her a scarf because she needs accessories. I didn't add a ton of accessories with this outfit just because there is quite a bit going on so I didn't want it to feel too busy. And I really like scarves. Well, I like drawing them anyways. <laughs> I never really wear them. I wasn't totally sure what to do for her lower half when designing the outfit. I kept going back and forth between pants and a ruffled skirt. But then I decided to go with a puffer skirt. To be honest, I thought they were kind of weird at first when I first saw them. But as I kept looking at them, they kind of kept growing on me and I thought I'd go kind of cute with her outfit. Oh, and her shirt is just a simple sweater being tucked into the skirt. I wasn't totally sure what style of glasses I wanted to give her. Since this isn't a close-up picture on her face, I didn't want to give her chunky glasses that covered her eyes. So I decided to just go with a thin oval frame. For her hair, I wanted to give her super thick long braids. I always think braids are so pretty and I'm slightly jealous of people who can make really thick braids with their hair. My hair is pretty thin, so when I try to braid it, it creates this super small baby braid. Uh, so yeah, I'm living through my characters. <laughs> I decided I wanted this illustration to focus more on the character and not the background. So I'm being stylistic with the background. I'm going to just draw the rocks and then I'll add a rectangle of different colors in it that I'll show in a little bit. So now I'm working on the line art for it. I'm using the rough pencil. Well, for most of it anyways. <laughs> I accidentally use the G pen sometimes without noticing, uh, but it isn't too noticeable, thankfully. So this character... Can I just call her her name? I already named her. I wanted to reveal it at the end of the video, but I feel like things would be easier if I said her name now. Uh, so I decided to name her Gwendolyn. I wanted a name that sounded kind of unique and also kind of old school-y. Oh no, just kind of like, what would the word be? Not mythical or magical, but just like fairy tale-ish. Like if you're reading a fairy tale, Maybe you'd find someone named Gwendolyn. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought the name suited her. She likes to go by Lynn. Her mom and dad call her Gwenny, uh, but if she's in trouble, they call her Gwendolyn. <laughs> also, I just noticed that Raylan and Gwendolyn both end with Lynn. This slightly bugs me a little bit. However, I'm already really attached to the name. Like she is Gwendolyn to me now, and I feel like it'd be really weird to change her name. Plus, Raylan and Gwendolyn don't live in the same universe, so it doesn't matter too much because they'll never be, like, in the same story if I ever wrote stories about them. 
Plus, it's kind of cute since they are both characters that you helped me all create and their names have something in common, so it's kind of cute. <laughs> Anyways, I went on a tangent back to what I was going to say. Gwendolyn is introverted, but she's not very shy, maybe just a little awkward. A lot of times people seem to think that being shy and being introverted are the same thing, but introvert just means you get your energy from being alone or just kind of doing your own thing. It doesn't necessarily mean you're shy. So Gwendolyn enjoys doing things on her own, like going for walks or designing her outfits. Uh, she likes to go to thrift stores and find interesting clothes. Uh, so she doesn't mind doing her own thing, but she does also really enjoy hanging out with her friends, like having a movie night or going to a cafe for a warm drink. I imagine she is very close to her friends, so hanging out with the few friends that she does have doesn't really make her exhausted too much. But things like large parties or big gatherings or being around a ton of new people makes her need to recharge by spending time alone. The line art is now done so we can start working on the colors. For the background I make a rectangle and fill it with a gradient going from a yellowy green to a bluey green. Along the bottom I add a lighter blue to kind of suggest that that's water and the rocks are in water. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I wanted to keep the background really simplistic so we can focus on Gwendolyn. So now it's time to pick the colors. This is always one of the hard parts. Once again, I was trying to channel my inner Animal Crossing fashion sense and think of what I would do and how I would pair things in Animal Crossing. For some reason, this helped a lot and I have no idea why. <laughs> Marigold is pretty popular right now, so I make her sweater that color. I've also been seeing a lot of hunter green, mostly because my mom kind of keeps pointing it out, so I keep seeing it too. I don't know if it's trendy, but I feel like I keep seeing it everywhere. Uh, so I decided to make the skirt, scarf, and purse hunter green. I make the coat and boots a dark brown to add some contrast. To keep her legs warm, she's wearing some tan colored leggings that tuck into her boots. I'll talk more about her hair and eye color when I'm shading them. That way I can talk about them a little bit more because I kind of have some info about them. Right here I'm filling in the patches of the coat. I just found different patterns in Clip Studio and applied them to the jacket. I wanted to keep them kind of random and different. I do reuse the same patterns for different patches, but I try to keep them not close together. So now that the colors have been decided, I can start shading. I'm starting off some cell shading for the shadows. I want to have a harder edge. So you all voted for Gwendolyn to be optimistic. So she sees the bright side of things and she's kind of happy and positive. She's always encouraging others and doesn't assume that the worst will happen. I think maybe she can be a little naive and childlike at times, uh, but that's one of the things her family and friends love about her. She's the kind of person that goes at her own pace and can maybe be a little absent-minded at times, but she's a very diligent worker when it comes to helping people and when she sets her mind to things. I wanted the shading to feel very warm, so I'm using a lot of warmer colors for the shadows and yellowy colors for the highlights. I also wanted to add hints of cool colors, uh, so I add lighter shades of blue throughout the picture as well. To make the puffer skirt seem puffy, I applied a dark color to it and then erased it where the skirt popped out. I then used an even darker color at all the intersections to help give the puffs more depth. I never really shade puffy clothes, so this was kind of fun. For the coat, I apply the shadows and then blend them out with the blending tool. I do the same thing with the highlights. I'm going to edit the patches later on to make them match the shading of the coat. So Gwendolyn's natural hair color is a very light brown or blondy color. I decided to make her natural color lighter because I wanted it to be easy for her to use semi-permanent hair dyes. Many of you voted for an unnatural hair color, so I gave her hair this kind of orangey red color. I make it more red in a little bit uh, because I thought it'd be kind of cute with this fall feeling picture and her outfit. Technically, this is a natural hair color it's just not natural to Gwendolyn. <laughs> I think Gwendolyn likes to change her hair color often depending on her mood or the season. And using semi-permanent dyes allows her to do that without damaging her hair, like with permanent dyes. I always think semi-permanent dyes sound kind of fun, but they often don't work super well with dark hair like mine. Like the only colors I could really use are like dark purple or red. And even then they probably wouldn't be super vibrant or colorful. 
So by giving Gwen the lighter hair color, she's able to use many different colors. To add her freckles, I just make a bunch of different size dots on her face. I also use different hues and shades of brown to give them a little bit of variety. Later on, I give her some eyeshadow and blush to make it look like she's wearing a little bit of makeup. Uh, but I did that when I wasn't recording. Uh, right now, I am adding a little bit more shading to the face. So Lynn's natural eye color is brown. But just like how she likes to change her hair color, she likes to change her eye color with colored contacts. So she is wearing these marigold color for the contacts. Gwen kind of sees her hair, eyes, and clothing as a way of expressing herself and her creativity. She thinks it's really fun to change up her look. She knows it can kind of attract attention sometimes and sometimes people think she looks kind of weird. But she thinks it's so much fun that she kind of just ignores it. Also, I hope her outfit looks fashionable enough. Many of you voted for her to wear chic clothing, but I don't know if she looks chic enough. When I was googling chic clothing on Google, it all just kind of looked like fancy stuff that maybe you'd wear to like a party or some kind of fancy place. <laughs> I wanted her to still look outdoorsy and ready for her nature walk. So I was trying to combine that with her look. Um, so yeah, I don't know if she looks chic, but I hope she at least looks kind of fashionable. For the finishing touches, I add some fall leaves to help us get a better idea that she is maybe in a forest or a nature park of some sort. And then I play around with the filters and effect layers to finish it off. Uh, so here's all Gwendolyn's information. Name, Gwendolyn Green. Hair color, light brown. Eye color, brown. Age, 18. Height, 5'6". Gwendolyn is kind of quirky and she embraces it. She loves to experiment with fashion and clothing. One of her favorite hobbies is going to thrift stores to find clothes that she can make her own. She likes to keep up with trends, but she doesn't let them dictate what she wears. She sees fashion as a way to express herself. Clothing isn't her only medium though. She likes to dye her hair new colors and wear colored eye contacts with fun makeup. She loves to dress up, not because she feels like she needs to, but just because it's fun to her. Gwendolyn is currently a college student studying to be a landscape architect. She loves nature and wants to find ways to help include it in urban living. On the weekends, she loves to walk through nature trails. She sometimes ends up not following them and finding her own path. So yeah, this is Gwendolyn, or Lynn, or Gwenny, or Gwen, whatever you want to call her. <laughs> Thank you all so much for helping me create her. I always feel like I end up with interesting original characters that I wouldn't have thought of if it wasn't for all of your help. It's also just a lot of fun designing a new character. Also, thank you so much to my patrons for their support. It means so much to me. If you want access to exclusive content and the Patreon exclusive Discord server, there is a link in the description with more info. So that is all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye! She has long hair that is... I got elegantly and stylishly... Stylishly... <laughs> for a time... For a time... <laughs> I can't talk today. Eh. Intersections to help give the puffs. I then used a darker... <coughs> I then used an even darker color at all the intersections to help give the puffs. I can't talk today. Mm. <laughs>